Hi guys, today I'm going to show you what criteria I use to create a new creature mix in a wasp and a dragon. I have an idea in my head, but nothing super concise. They are things that I develop as a drawing evolves. For the head, my idea was to combine the jaws of a classic dragon with the strong pincers that a wasp has in its jaw. Then I start to draw. As I said before, I have an idea in my head, but it's not completely clear. So I model as if it were a clay sculpture or some 3D software. My idea is to try to make a mix as harmonious as possible. For this, in every detail that I draw, I try to complement it with the elements of both animals. As I draw the creature, ideas come to my mind and I try to capture them. For example, when adding the limbs, a dragon has four legs plus two wings, or they can have two wings and two hind legs. And as soon as the wasp has six legs and two wings, I want to choose that arrangement. The legs are made up of dragon characteristics, features, but I am also going to apply armor as if it were an insect. The abdomen will be an interesting mix. At this point I have decided that it should be elongated and pointed like in a wasp, perhaps a little longer so that it is a little reminiscent of a dragon's tail. There will be scales and spikes on it too. Once the design process has been completed, the coloring comes. For this I began to give bases of the colors that I consider appropriate in the different sectors. For example, for the body, I wanted to color in to be more reminiscent of a dragon than a wasp. And I have considered give a brown with a reddish touch, as has been seen in many other dragons. And at the same time, I place the shadows and lights. In this case, imagine direct light from above as if it were noon. I add bright yellow details for the spikes and different sectors of the animal's body, as well as some violet lights that can give the impression that it contains a violet magical energy.
Once I have the colors in general, I start to paint the background. Generally, I make the background out of focus. What this generates is to highlight the main figure. In this case, it seems like a good idea to paint a green background. It reminds me to a garden, was can be seen in gardens and rose bushes. That's why I wanted to, yeah, to allude to this environment. And it can also raise questions such as, is this the size of a wasp or a dragon? Furthermore, um, the choice of color, in this case green, makes the warm colors of yellow and reddish stand out even more. Complementary ones like red and green work very well. Now come the final touches and the wings. At this point I thought that the membrane of the dragon wings must be made of chitin, a rigid uh, substance that is also part of the exoskeleton of insects. At this point the illustration is almost finished. I add final lights to the animal and the scene and that's it. If you are interested in this type of content, stay tuned because I upload videos of this type every week. Thank you so much.